Hello there and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into a skill that can help you organize your financial data more effectively. And that is how to edit categories. Whether you want to restructure your expense categories or fine tune your income categories, we've got you covered. But before all of that, Make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell turned on so you never miss out on anything or exciting updates that we have. QBO allows you to edit categories which means you can tailor your chart of accounts to match your specific business needs or financial situation. By editing and organizing categories, it reflects a better financial transactions and you can achieve greater accuracy in tracking and reporting your income and expenses. Um, over time, you know, business evolves and financial needs change. So editing categories allows you to adapt to your chart and it can streamline your accounting processes by ensuring that your chart of accounts aligns with your business structure, eliminating confusion and errors. Now, let's get right into it. If you are using the same version that I have, all you got to do is hover your mouse into the accounting and it has two options which are chart of accounts and reconcile. So you choose chart of accounts. If you have already an existing uh, accounts here, all you got to do is just select or type it here. Or for the training purposes, let's just say cash and equivalent. So. All I gotta do is hover down here and edit. Now you can choose what kind of account type it is, whether it's current assets, fixed assets, you know, uh, credit card, cur current liabilities, owner's equity income and whatnot. So let's say expenses and detail type can be, you know, from advertising promotional, why? not choose maybe um equipment rental and account name let's say um easy earl tutorial number is training for youtube.com sub account yes and after that save and close Yes, it is. Let's say uh, inventory. Mm, all right. What about we type in expenses? All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you find it very helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions, guys, please or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. I am so happy to read your feedback and comments. And until next time, take care and happy bookkeeping.